the best in the world, baby. After I've achieved, then I can celebrate now. Mm. Then I can lose the magic. Wow. Yeah, see, like six months, good about this six months in full ten years, I want to buy a house. I don't have a stamina, I'm not a stamina, I don't look for ten. Fuck, but I'm up and I'm up. Yeah, I'm not for the shoes. I, I feel better than sex. What's up? With your boy Son Rabo Teta, aka the best in the world, and welcome to the Best in the World podcast, episode number 13. So, do the right thing, don't forget to like and subscribe. So, let us dive straight into it. Um, one of the greatest, and I'm talking about music now, um, RB singers of our time, R. Kelly, was found guilty on all nine federal charges of sex trafficking, child pornography, and all of these things. And I'm kind of feeling like mixed emotions about about, about this one because you look at all the evidences against him and all the witnesses that testified and you just have to be like, yep, he did it. He did it. Everybody knows he did it. I mean, there are videos, there's this, there's that. It's just that the whole narrative in terms of research and technical proof points at everything being guilty and pointed to this man. But at the same time, this is R. Kelly we're talking about, guys. R. Kelly, the greatest R&B singer of all time in terms of classics. I mean, that song, I Believe I Can Fly. So many classics, I mean, that song is timeless, I believe I can fly, it's so timeless, it's so classic, it's like, I don't know, it's one of those songs that are lasting forever, but at the same time, it's like this guy is a monster, and he actually did these things, so I'm just glad that Justice did what it needed to do, but at the same time, it's R. Kelly, man, you know, it's R. Kelly, one of the strongest musical catalogue. So I don't want to get too political about this one, man. But, um, I mean, what happens, happens in the world, you know? What's fair is fair. And that's all I can say about that. But I've always noticed one thing about R. Kelly is that he always has a double... He always has two sides, actually. Because, on the other hand, he'll release a very motivational, peaceful song. You know, because R. Kelly has a lot of those songs that come once in a lifetime and those songs that are very very uplifting that come once in a lifetime i mean talking about i believe i can fly you saved me i wish the other one that he did with celine celine dion i am your angel the one he did with celine dion it's like yo but at the same time there there's a there's a dilemma about this guy and his music he also has a dark side or more of a sexual side. He has a lot of sexual songs, songs such as Bump and Grind. This other song called Feeling on Your Booty. And these, these, these are these are, are classics, but it just low key shows you that this person has got two sides to him in terms of his music and his fabric as a human being. You know, he was able to release such awesome classic songs, but at the same time, commit such monstrosities according to the proof according to the proof he committed such monstrosities you know and he was found guilty on all nine charges and he could be facing multiple decades behind bars like multiple 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 so it's just mm, it's a lot going on in this world and i don't want to comment too much about it but um, it is what it is. And yeah, moving on to the next story. Uh, our homeboy, Lionel Messi. You always feature him on this channel, man. One of the greatest football players of all time. Um, finally scored his first goal for PSG. I mean, take a look at this. Talk about classic, talk about that composure, 
you know, the one-two link up with Mbappe. It's synonymous with Messi being in Barcelona. Very, very great. And I cannot wait to see the future of Aquacol's combination M N M. Not M M M. M N M. As in Messi, Neymar, Mbappe. That combination or that front three. I'm very, very excited because football right now, it's in a, it's, it's in a special place. It's in a very special place in terms of competition. As well as someone who amazed people um, last night in UEFA Champions League um, game week two is the phenomenal. He's also one of the greatest players of all time. He goes by the name of Cristiano Ronaldo. Actually saved Manchester United in the 94th or 95th minute. But take a look at this. Talk about that immaculate energy, you know, both of them I had new clubs, both of them scored in this um, UEFA Champions League game week and I'm very excited for football because we are going to be very, very, very um, sad when these two guys retire. They're the greatest of all time, both of them. But for me, everybody knows I'm a Messi type of guy. I am forever Lionel Messi, the greatest football player of all time. You can talk about facts or numbers, but I don't like comparing too much because we, we are blessed, man. We are very, very blessed to have these two players play at the same time in the same generation. Bale and Maradona didn't play at the same time or same generation, but they used to be compared a lot, you know, in recent pieces to the great Diego Maradona. But let us not compare greatness. But instead, we should appreciate. I feel like it's very, very essential to appreciate um, greatness, you know. Appreciate greatness. Anyway, in conclusion, I just want to peep everyone on something that I've been on, man. Like, this thing is super, super cool. Um, I always like telling people what I'm out, what I'm watching out there on the internet or whatever. And I stumbled across this other show um, called Peaky Blinders. The show is basically set in Birmingham, in England, in the 1920s. And it's based upon a, a razor gang blade post-World War I um, who control the streets of Birmingham in England in the 1920s. And it's a very fascinating show. It's called Peaky Blinders. Do go check it out. It's very, very awesome. It has a, 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 an amazing storyline. You know, it has an amazing storyline. And as you progress with the story, you just feel the people's energies in it, man. I mean, for instance, take a look at this trailer right here. <laughs> successful talk about action talk about action so if you guys are looking for something to watch as we close into the festive season do go check out Peaky Blinders I advise you it's a very gruesome violent show but it has such and you make a killer storyline that you can relate with and it's super super um, fantastic so anyways man you've been blessed with the boy son number teta aka the best in the world so thank you to everyone for doing the right things i don't have to say it anymore you guys know exactly what you need to do but for me since a young blood i've been trying to catch mandela crippin i finally did it go no pairs like 10 of them peggle reps i'm confident i'm got to this sipping coffee